that's actually Tachibana, uh, out of breath in the background. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So I would say this is Jeff. This is David. Hi, David. Hi, Jeff. We are playing Neo. Well, you are. Well, yeah, okay. This, I mean, <laughs> well, I, I'm not at the moment. I'm well, fair enough. Watching a, a video of when I had played. Of past earlier. Jeffy. Yes, this is past Jeff. We did the Nue last time. The mm. Nue is not the only boss in this particular level. The actual boss that you beat, when beat, when you beat, rather, actually ends the mission, mm -hmm. is... Tachibana Munashige! Hey. Yay! This is the fake one. I don't know how he dodged that, but okay. <laughs> sure, I guess. It's fine. Uh, it is the first in the game of the humanoid bosses mm -hmm. and Neo. Uh, they have the same rules that you do. So you, you fight them a little bit differently than you do the uh, yokai bosses. For instance, their stamina, their key, is much more volatile than the yokai. They don't do yokai realm in order to regenerate. They regenerate by not attacking and not blocking, and they regenerate slower when blocking. Mm -hmm. And if they use strong attacks like he's doing here, his key goes down very fast. Uh, his triple arrow, which is the, I think that's the only um, arrow attack he'll use is the, the triple shot. Mm -hmm. um, you can just block it. Uh, but yes, what we're going to be doing for almost all of the, uh, actually literally all of the <laughs> humanoid bosses is running their key down. And then stabbing. Uh, yes, and then using EI strikes, sign of the cross, and final blows in order to get a lot of the damage. Mm -hmm. uh, the tiger sprint, which is the one where he does the EI and then runs at you, yeah. is unblockable. Um, so it'll go through your guard. Right. Which is why that's that's the real that's the move that you really need to learn how to dodge. If you learn to dodge that one, then you can pretty much just kind of zone him mm -hmm. for all the rest of them. You just kind of block his arrows, give him a little poke when he tries to charge up his sword. Um, and the the tiger sprint doesn't have infinite range. It's just that this is a small area. <laughs> so. Right. When you fight him in the other uh, arena, spoilers. It's yeah, it's yeah. It's a little bit easier. easier. But he also has more moves right. uh, in the other arena. Since this is technically the, uh, the fake, fake one. Munishige, yeah. Uh, it's just the, what's his doodle? Kelly. Kelly, yeah, Kelly. Oh, spirit uh, he weapon, is, he right. Is, yeah, he's, he has spirit weapon. He'll We'll see right in a second here, but like in this version of the fight, it's like almost not even worth mentioning. It's... Right, because it's just like, that hit, right? Yeah, like, hit, I think you can do a, a, a quick combo, not just the overhead one, but I don't know. I'll just ignore. Right. The low stance combo has a lot of hits in it. I think that he'll only do six. I mean, as, as you know from previous videos or maybe just from playing the game, the low stance single katana has an infinite right. with a quick attack. Uh, he doesn't seem to do the infinite. I think he stops at six. There's the right hand. Yeah, he jumps at you. Puppy. Two seconds after uh, he gets summoned, so. Okay. But you can also just kind of, if you don't want to like count, you can just Run. go in a wide arc. <laughs> yeah, just, yep. just walk in a wide arc away. And then uh, he only does one jump in the first half. Uh, we'll, we'll see later that the right king can do two jumps. Mm -hmm. But uh, uh, the old high stance jump combo. It's so easy. I'm yes. so happy when he uses it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to be really slow and do uh, a jump. <laughs> high, st high stance is great. I love when the humanoid bosses use high stance. It's easy to parry. It's easy to dodge. All their stamina does goes a lot away. Of, yeah, all their, uh, all their stamina just disappears. So. Oop, Oop. And you're good. Still in low stance. Have you so gotten I don't hit yet? Get too, I have not gotten hit yet. Was that a grab he just did? Uh, yeah. There's a grab attack. I don't actually know what happened. I mean, I assume he just kind of grabs you and you, you know. He stabs you or something, you take damage. He stabs you or something. I don't know. I've never, I've not seen that. Oh. Uh, that's actually a, uh, we got, I got hit. Tiny, tiny little damage. No. <laughs> <laughs> no. Oh, man. <laughs> I took a t it was a it was just a tiny little it's it was a wake up attack. attack it was like a it was a wake up like low stance attack just real quick and he was already almost dead like he just had like he was almost dead you almost had almost him almost dead it's okay there's there's still there's still good there's still good tips to be gleaned from this fight right even if you did get hit I did get a tiny bit of damage. oh hey warrior of the west 
Yeah, but hey, hey Nami Yogi he kind of meets you. Yeah, hey, he that's is sword. the warrior of the West. <laughs> Uh, but this is a no damage guide, so we need to do it without damage. <laughs> Let's do the real, the real Munishige. We're gonna use a better sword, though. Okay. Once again, this time without damage. Without damage. Okay. This is the one where you fight him in the fields of grass. Right. I got hit. <laughs> that he does a lot of damage. Yes, he a lot does. of damage. That didn't work. <laughs> yep. I got stabbed. Hey, you didn't he stabbed die. Me. Uh, okay. Yep. The EI strike, very fast. There's a Riken from off screen. <laughs> yeah. Uh, there's the one that isn't the EI strike. Wait, how did that one hit you? Okay, now this, t for reals this <laughs> time. How damage. Okay, all right. We have a very good uh, on Onimetsu sword. I forgot the, the name of it already. Yeah, but the Mitsu. Yeah. We're, going to, we're going to zone him. We're going to dash through his EI strikes, and we're going to do severe punishes. See, there you go. That yeah. is the range of the, uh, the tiger running strike. EI strike. Yeah, the tiger sprint, I guess. Uh, mainly what we want to do is tire him out, which he will do mostly on his own because he uses a lot of high key attacks, do an EI strike right into mm -hmm. a final blow. And that's where we're going to get most of our damage. Right. And then there's the puppy. In the, the second puppy. phase, he, he can do a few more things with the puppy. Like I said, the puppy gets two attacks instead of one. Right. You can also just run away from these. It's nice. Uh, you can block. You can continue to block all damage from the... Uh, uh, well, it's not a crossbow, but he basically uses it like a crossbow. Oh, yeah, his uh, bow. Yeah, his, his, his triple shot. Yeah. He does a lot more damage. He's a lot more aggressive. Mm -hmm. But you have more room. So you can uh, avoid things, kind of like that. Yeah. Also, it's great when he uses high stance because it's easy to dodge. Yeah, it's easy to dodge. He's slow. He wastes nope, his the, stamina. The, that, There's the puppy. That dog. Yeah, he was in the air. I don't know. <laughs> it was weird. It's fine. It's yeah, fine. It, it works. It's fine. It's good. It's, it's it's cool. It's cool. It's all good. It's all good. It's cool. It's cool. Uh, you can also like all of the humanoid bosses. Mm -hmm. um, parry them. Yep. And do all that kind of fun stuff. That is... There'll be some fun uh, <laughs> the, uh, parry, parry spam later. The yeah. EI freakout. <laughs> this is also unblockable. Mm -hmm. That's that's why I'd mostly suggest staying at mid distance so that you can determine whether he's doing Tiger Sprint, EI Strike, or the, the freakout. The freakout is... I don't know. I wouldn't suggest being close to him mm -hmm. for that reason. Hey, look. We got the Crusher. Crushed it. This also yeah. looks a little bit like the the intro screen <laughs> just a little bit like the intro screen it's a little bit it's just you know just a little bit i yeah. did it the uh, <laughs> guy's a hard he's he's hard he's a hard he's guy. a difficult fight hard boss. yeah um those are your stats yeah those those are the stats and i'm using the uh the uh the change to attack skill mm -hmm. nami oyogi kenimitsu they got from the uh uh just from a revenant that was in the uh Near right. the new A fight. I have five it's, of them, so yes, I understand. It's, it's a, it's a great sword. Mm -hmm. It has water damage, which is one of the best damage debuffs. types. Yeah, yeah, because if you water debuff, then it lowers their defense, so you do more damage. It's just what it means. Yes, you do straight more damage after hitting them enough. Uh, and then, of course, the change to attack is just like, hey, here's extra scaling, so that your stats give you more damage. Cool, cool, sweet. Even better when it's inheritable. Yes. Uh, so yes, that's Munishige. I really like Munishige fight. Um, it's the first of the, like I said, the first of the humanoid, humanoid bosses, yeah. which is like, a, it's an entire genre of boss in this game. Mm -hmm. You have the pattern-based Dark Souls kind of style yokai bosses, uh, which are usually gigantic, and you know, there's a set of moves you need to learn, and then when you run down their key you can get like one full combo in and then they'll do a yokai realm and regenerate and then there's phase two where they get new moves similar uh similarly the human opponents will they have they have a set of the set of rules applies to all the human opponents mm -hmm. so their their second phases are almost universally going to be living weapon spam so they all have living weapons that they can use where they and they have the same rules where it has a timer, it'll run out. You, they can combo through things, so they don't get staggered out of things. Right. Uh, and there's, but there's also a few special attacks that their versions of living weapons do that yours can't. So, like your version of Raiken that you get does a similar thing with the you know puppy jumps out and you know starts electrifying things, but it's, it's not exactly the same. Right. 
Uh, so that that's the that's true of all the other uh, humanoid bosses. Their key is managed the same way as your own, and the weapons they use are the same weapons that you can use. So the combos they can use are also the same ones you can use. So right. it's less it's less about knowing the individual. Well, actually, I'd say it's more about knowing the individual weapons than the individual bosses in that case, because they'll be using the things that you can also use right. for about ninety percent of the time. And it's it's interesting just learning uh, parry windows on all of them because that's that's mm -hmm. how I beat Munishige with a in the in the field fight was yeah, I just doing, pulled doing out my spear perfect, and just parried every single attack that I could. Doing doing a perfect Munishige fight with like the because my my favorite is dual swords mm -hmm. so doing the shrike, which is the parry that puts them on the ground. It's an L one triangle mid stance. Mm -hmm just getting like four consecutive perfect strikes and having it just be an embarrassingly one-sided <laughs> beatdown is great. It's so great. It's really nice. <laughs> it's just strike, denied, sign of the cross, final blow. He gets up and tries to do another move, strike, deny. <laughs> Can you parry the unblockable attacks of his? Hmm, I don't know. I don't think so. Hmm. Um, but I suppose... I guess I've not tried, uh, because at least the way that I build up the flow chart in my head when I'm fighting these bosses is it's a it's very much a Pavlovian thing. So you like stimulus response, right? So like if he does this, this is the counter that I have practiced and I know is safest. Right. So if he starts doing a EI strike slash tiger sprint slash freak out, then I know stand this far away from him. Wait till he starts the attack so you know if it's going to be the EI or the tiger sprint or, or the freak out, in which case just wait for him to get tired or he's going to run at you. You can out, you know, like out zone him or dash straight forward through it, which is I found to be the easiest way eventually. I, f I suppose the actual easiest way is to just outrange it and then get the uh, sort of hit and kick in right. in order to punish. Uh, but I felt it was more satisfying to dodge through it. Uh, but as 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 noticed from the uh, the attempts that didn't work, that did not always work well. No, no, not not always. Sometimes. But yeah, the so that that flow chart in my head never included like maybe parry. <laughs> uh, <laughs> maybe so parry. So the 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 maybe parry moves were the mid stance. Uh, mid stance light combos and the high stance light and heavy combos, right. which he didn't really do many of here. But you can fight him later. Well, I mean, technically you can fight anything later at higher levels. Right, and uh, you can just, just do that fight as many yeah. times as you want. So. And you can do that fight as much as you want. And you can come back later and do it on a new difficulty mode, and he'll be powered up, and mm -hmm. you know, you'll have to. But if you can do it without doing, if you can do it without taking damage, that doesn't change. So like, then it doesn't matter how much damage he does. It's just more of a how how long can you go without making a mistake, right? <clears throat> oh, and uh, all of the cheese. The, this is a this is pretty much a no cheese boss fight run. It's, we've kind of talked about that a little bit in the previous boss guides where we're not doing um, weakness unless in like a bonus. Mm -hmm. um, or discord slash confusion or power pills or carnage talismans or for the most part except for one that's really annoying protection talisman or <laughs> or using sloth to slow them down or but you can use all these things like all of these things are available and the human opponents are even weak to the um like the ninjutsu like um is it makibishi i think Whatever the caltrops are called, really. Like you can even use those. Huh. You can blind. You can use blinding shell, which turns off their tracking. You can throw caltrops on the ground, which is another way to slow them down. Uh, you know, you can do all of these kinds of debuff things. The also the other cheese you can do on, in this game on humanoid bosses, which makes all of them extremely simple, is that knockdown attacks will knock them down. <laughs> Run that by me again. Knockdown attacks will knock them down. I don't follow. Okay, so knockdown, mm -hmm. when you get knocked down, yes. if you get knocked down, you'll get knocked down. Knocked down. Uh, but, okay, by which I mean um, parries that knock down will knock them down, mm -hmm. so you can get final blows. 
if you shoot them in the head They'll with get an down. arrow or a cannon or a bullet or, yeah, or, or a bullet it will knock them down mm -hmm. if you use a uh, moment talisman or a which is just the, the way to use the um, I forget what the other one called it's not a moment talisman the one you can get it's just guardian talisman Oh yeah, Guardian Talisman is the one that you can just get refill, refills of, and Moment Talisman is the consumable version. But it uses the special ability of your uh, currently equipped Guardian Spirit, uh, and some of those have knockdown effect on them, which is why Daiba Washi is one of the best because it's an instant tornado attack. Right. It, in any humanoid caught in it is knocked flat on their ass immediately, and you can just do that. EI Strike, Final Blow. Throw another one out. EI strike, final blow. Throw another one out. EI strike, final blow. You can just you can just cheese them to death that way as well. Hmm. So there's there's many opportunities for cheesing humanoid bosses, which I'm perfectly fine with. <laughs> like I wanted to do a no damage fight without cheese for this particular video, but I am not above shooting a dude in the head and then whirlwind birding him <laughs> unto death. <laughs> I have no shame. <laughs> It's almost like they gave you a big toolbox of yep. of uh, options, and and you decided to use some of them. Weird. How fun! Fun times. Good yes. times. They they had just come out with the new DLC, the first of the DLC expansions, had just come out as we we're recording this, which also added a PvP mode, which eh. yeah, I did it a few times. It was I don't know. There's like it was like laggy one time. I got disconnected another time. I got one shot with an arrow another time. And then another time it was like, a, you know, a hectic, pretty good fight, 2v2. Two, 2v2 two two. Two is a lot more fun than 1v1. I have not done any 1v1s because I know that 2v2 is going to be better. Right. Because there's more, there's more chaos. Right, there's more chaos and Yeah. Both like of if us. a dude is like, oh, these two on, you, you can try and do like two on one, but you also, you always have to keep in mind where's the other guy. Right. And if you're being like, attack directly you can just be like wait i don't want to do this you run away and go try and get like a blindsided attack on the other guy you know right as long as you keep aware of where everything is and you know kind of use the stage to your advantage it's a little bit more fun uh there's there's plenty all of the cheese that i mentioned for humanoid bosses applies 100 percent to all humanoid players so Ooh. there's lots of there's actually even a few more that apply to humans only so there's there's an ability where you can auto auto fire at weak points from a set bonus huh. i think that's one of the things that is being used currently for like instant kills uh so like you you just have like a very high powered rifle and then you auto center on the head and you get a headshot and that like kills everyone except for maybe like the highest of high hp tanky builds right oof uh, the same thing with like stacking kunai and shurikens so that like if you block them they don't do any damage but they just keep spamming it until it breaks your guard and then the one that finally hits you does like you know 2000 damage or whatever that kind of thing. Wow okay. Uh, spamming the Kasari Gama's blade spin is another thing that like, people like to do because you can't parry the blade spin attack and, and it, it's a dodge slash key ruining move. So there's like a bunch of people that just kind of like do that exclusively. That was kind of funny to watch because that was the one guy that was doing that that I saw was actually the one that I ended up winning against because <laughs> that was like all he was doing. He was just rolling around doing blade spin. I was just like, well, it's a 2v2. I'm going to you can do this. I'll let you do this here. I'm going to go fight. the other guy. <laughs> It's like, OK, cool, 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 cool. So on a living, living weapon as well. That's that's another thing. Right. I don't know. There's a lot of options. So people on complain a about Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. On a scale of, you know, Halo to uh, Call of Duty, how salty would you say it's possible to get in this PvP? Zero to salty, what do you think? Um, it's always, the potential for salt is always high mm -hmm. uh, when, when, there's, when, when there's anything that could even be, like, slightly defined as cheese. Right. So if there's any kind of thing that's like that, or OP or whatever you want to call it, uh, and also latency, right? So if there's right. lag or if there's like 
some sort of like build where they've built all their armor and such so that they can just one shot people like potential for salt is high but for the most part i don't know they're they have a they have ways to go for pvp but i actually ended up liking it more than i thought i would just because right. they did have that option for 2v2 like they don't have they don't have the option to like go in with a buddy yet which is weird you just have to do random 2v2 so like you do have a team, but he can't be like, I want to play with this person against another team. Hmm. It's weird. Um, let's see, there, there's no like options really for like determining how you want to be matched. If it's by rating or level, because like you can definitely just get matched with people that are just like have maximum like fully grinded out equipment, and that stuff is just gonna wreck you. Like it doesn't even right. It's like you could block it, but like at that point, like it's it's breaking your stamina so fast. It's like it doesn't even matter. <laughs> well, I blocked two Which, hits, and my stamina's broken, and I'm sleepy, yeah. and I'm dead. They also they also nerfed the uh, the single katana um, uh, parry haze. Which, I don't know why, but mm -hmm. I don't know. I, I don't necessarily agree with that one. Like especially since the other parries have not been. So that like it doesn't do it doesn't do the knockdown key drain effect. So like it seems pointless at least at the moment. So it's like well if you're gonna get the parry you should be able to. That was the whole point of using haze at least for me. It was like yeah you get the parry and you you hit the second combo which is like the sort of the back attack and then it knocks them on the ground and then you you know do your usual sort of ei strike final blow combo thing. Mm -hmm. Uh, but you can't really do that anymore, and, and it's also a little bit laggy. So the time, the few times that I did land a haze, and then it was just like I was hitting the air. So like I got the parry, but then like by the time I'm doing this, the follow-up attack, they're like already like gone on the other side of the arena. I was like, oh, wait, I got it. I did the parry. I wanted to get the. You did the thing. Cool. Like I did the thing. <laughs> Guys? I think the, sh the strike still works. I think. Well, anyways, they they can they can fix all that. Right. Don't don't listen to the internet. The internet complains about everything all the time. This is the internet. This is how it is. We Just complain about just... things too. So we're, we're yeah. Not... I, I complain. I complain about things too. But I, I feel like PvP is not a thing to get salty about because it's it's something that is it's some people will enjoy and it's something that they really didn't have to add at all. Right. So the fact that they're like, here's a free, completely competitive mode, the fact that they're willing to put that in the game at all is kind of cool and commendable, and I'm sure that they'll keep tweaking it. I, I hope that they tweak PvP itself rather than Dark Souls' model of PvP determines how bad PvE is. Right. <coughs> lightning Spear! Yeah. I lightning Spear. Precious I Lightning wanna, Spear. I just wanted to blast people with lightning. Or not people with lightning. I wanted to blast bosses with lightning. Yeah. They're like no. You wanted to you can't. blast a boss with lightning. A yeah. Very like specific... two. Like two. Yeah. Like maybe one or two specific bosses with lightning. And they're like no. No, we don't. Okay. Yeah. Neo. Neo. Dark Souls. But dude, dude, kicks me. <laughs> Oh, we didn't do the pitch. We didn't do the pitch. You can do the pitch. Okay, do the quick <laughs> pitch. Uh, Patreon, you can donate monthly. Uh, you can uh, you can also just give us a tip mm -hmm. with the, the PayPal email address, or you can and you can also watch our uh, Twitch show seven to nine mm -hmm. Pacific Standard Time on Tuesday nights. And since like Huzzah! it's all word of mouth, so like, comment, subscribe, all that stuff. Tell people uh, that you like our yeah, show. Yeah, yeah, that, 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 yeah, that, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that thing too. That thing too. Uh, 24 minutes into yep. the video. Should probably stop the video. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and stop. They did, they did announce Darksiders 3. <laughs> they did announce Darksiders 3. We should but, say oh, something oh, no, about that. It's, it's I, I'm excited. I'm pumped. I'm, excited. I'm super pumped. I, would, I, will, I could go into a rant about how I, personal, personal preference, I kind of hate high heels. Oh, does uh, she have high heels? Yeah, like Ugh. I kind of hate that stuff. Look, some people, some people are into that. I understand. I think it's kind of a maybe a little tired shorthand for sexy lady in quotes. Right. Uh, but whatever. People, some people are into that. Um, I personally am not. Mm -hmm. But I, I am not. I guess I'm not surprised that the character design would include that. Pretty, most most female characters do. Right. Because we we have to make her sexy, but we don't want to try too hard. 
Mm -hmm. Uh, She doesn't have glasses, though. Well, I mean, if they had gone full bayonetta... So it's, the it's, not, bayonetta, it's not a platinum. Yeah, they haven't gone full platinum. If they'd gone full bayonetta, it would have been fine, because then it would have been like, all right, we're going to make things so grossly exaggerated that we are clearly poking fun at some of the people who enjoy these fetishes. Mm-hmm. Also, the main character will kind of be weirdly maternal in a way that I am convinced is completely accidental. <laughs> <laughs> and not an intention at all of any of the people directly involved in creating the game. We're talking about Darksiders 3 or Bayonetta? No, Bayonetta. <laughs> Bayonetta. Yeah. Bayonetta 1. That was an you accident, take, You take care of Cereza or Cerezita. And this is just the little tiny, little tiny version of Bayonetta with huge classes. <laughs> so small. She was so it's small. Just, yeah. And you're like, okay. I was like, okay, that's an interesting sidekick to have. Mm-hmm. So I was like, all right, it's it's a it's a mostly in quotes sexy character. There's a lot of fetishes on display. Mm-hmm. It's sort of a um, a fetish shotgun approach. <laughs> just lo- load the buckshot up, up with all of the things and just shoot it. See what works. And then just shoot it, and then one of them will hit someone. Someone, three or four will hit them. You know, but as long as it gets somebody, then, yeah. Uh, and then somewhere accidentally, they made like an interesting character that's like taking care of the small child. <laughs> for part of the story i was like oh that's weird i was like and then and then i think about it on a meta level i'm like is this intentional or is this another piece of buckshot in the shotgun uh and you can go down a real existential (laughs) rabbit hole trying to think about that like wait is the fact that this character has a maternal side is that another fetish that they're trying to appeal to or was it just kind of was it accident was it accidental was it intentional? Because they're like, well, let's have like the dichotomy between like this over-the-top um, sexualized character, where like that's like the main point of what she does, even down to the lore reasons why she gets more and more naked the more magic she uses. Mm-hmm. I'm like, all right, sure. It's like, but then the rest of it is like, oh, let's show that this this is not just a one-node character; that she has other other interests and other things that she can do. I'm like. But maybe that was an accident. <laughs> I kind of feel like it was probably an accident, <laughs> considering it Platinum's accident. other female characters in their games. Yeah, yeah. But then again, I would also say that like female characters are generally pretty one note and samey in Team Ninja games. But then Neo, they did, they did a pretty good job in Neo. I right. I don't know if that was accidental either. Well, I think it. I think part of the problem with Team Ninja is a lot of their games are you know, Ninja Gaiden kind of stuff. Where maybe it's, where it's, maybe the problem with Team Ninja was Itagaki and he's not there anymore. I'm gonna so. say probably honestly, like this is probably for the best. It's just like all right, it's Team Ninja. Where's the where's the female character that's wearing lingerie armor and has like the most ridiculous proportions possible mm-hmm. and has. It has yeah, like the most ridiculous boob physics. Like and it's like this is this is the CIA agent that is assigned to track you down. It's like okay, sure if you say so. <laughs> CIA, CIA, wait, what? I was like okay if you say so. <laughs> all right, uh, you go okay. Inigaki. All right, all right. Yeah, all right. Yeah, Dark Siders. Okay, cool, cool. Dark all right, we'll stop. We we'll stop. <laughs> we need to stop. stop recording now. All right, stop. The right. Recording. Ostensibly, this is about how to fight Tajibana. <laughs> that's earlier on go go back and listen to it it's fine i'm gonna stop recording now yep. <laughs>